ending quarters, they cut it to 18 there. And uh, it's funny, we only had nine turnovers for 20 points. So I think it was just the margins. Like, they had 15 offensive rebounds. We had uh, nine what seemed to be live ball turnovers for points. You know, and then they shot the ball really well from three. So uh, we got off to a really good start. Uh, but it's a good lesson when you let a team hang around. And, uh, you know, they made you know, mar- those margin plays, you know, points off turnovers, three-pointers, offensive rebounds. And uh, credit to them for, you know, battling back. What kind of learning experience is this for you guys? What's kind of the big, you know, takeaway you have from this? I mean, just it would be in any game. Like, just got to uh, start quarters, end quarters well, and, and execution, and then the idea of uh, putting teams away when you can, you know. But also, you know, there's been, that's like 58 now at least, but, you know, there's 58 times this 20 point lead has either been tied uh, or the other team has taken the lead. So it's it, the stuff like that's going to happen. We have to learn how to manage it, continue to learn how to manage it. We do by managing runs, uh, beginning quarter, end of quarter, uh, and then the margins. You know, those things are the most important regardless of who you play. Joe, what happened to the offense in the second half? It seemed like you guys scored 44 points. Yeah. And they scored 44 points in the first quarter. Yeah. Um, well, one, I think we, we shot like 40% from three in the first quarter. Uh, so I thought we got some good looks uh, that we missed. Uh, but I thought their physicality, uh, you know, they uh, were extremely physical as soon as the ball got over half court. I thought that messed up. Um, just our offense, and they made us work for everything. So I thought uh, they defended us pretty well, and I thought we missed some some really good looks between you know, Peyton, Sam's fee, uh, KP, some of those guys. So you know, credit to them for their physicality. Tonight you start without a point guard, it's kind of JT and short of mm-hmm. point, and that works so well because you guys got every cross match you wanted in the first quarter. Then when they really turned things on in the second half, especially at the end of the game, where there was yeah. a lot of just ISO possessions just kind of winding down. Yeah. What did you want to see from them as far as putting some level of kind of Point guard fluidity increase. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think just handling the pressure, handling the physicality, um, which I thought we did uh, in the second quarter. They changed the matchups uh, and just went traditional and just decided to just be more physical. So I think just handling that is the, the thing to learn there, you know? And then the last time you guys had this big of a comeback loss, it was that Brooklyn game. Oh, yeah. Talk about. yeah, yeah. And kind of similar thing with the you know, shooting difference. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Back. So I guess when you look back on that game a couple of years ago, what kind of memories does that bring back, having the same kind of loss? How do you guys? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't remember until you said it, so uh, I have to process it. But uh, I think it's just, you know, playing through stuff. Like, it goes back to just it's just games like that. If you let guys hang around and they feel good about themselves, their role players played really well. Garrison Matthews, uh, two, uh, I think it was three for three threes. Uh, Bruno came in and changed the dynamic of the game. So when you let guys hang around and allow, you know, different role players to make high-energy plays and, uh, no matter who you're playing in the NBA, once it gets close, anything can happen, you know? So it's that space of, uh, you know, just working through that. You know, with Jaden Springer for stretches of the fourth quarter, um, what did you, why did you want to put him out there and what did you see from him during that stretch? Um, you know, he brings great physicality. Uh, his ball pressure, uh, he got an illegal screen. He almost got a steal at half court, uh, got a layup in transition. Uh, so just, you know, an opportunity for him to grow, um, his physicality, his defensive presence. Psychologically, how do you... I mean, I'm not a psychologist, so I don't know. But, I mean, you have a lot of philosophy. Yeah. Um, how do you stop? Obviously, the, the, the run at the end of the first half. I yeah, know, I know. It was 18, and it, it deflated. Yeah. It was a great half. And then they come out with 18 to 4. Yeah. What happens? How do you, you tell you guys, don't. Yeah. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. And yeah, I mean, it's just, a, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, really, the three-point, that's the weapon of the three-pointers. So they shoot 50% from three. Changes everything in the game. And we shot 28%. So, like, you look at it, you only have nine turnovers. Usually they don't lead to 20 points. We don't usually have that many live ball ones, right? So it's like a, it's a combination of a bunch of stuff. It's guarding the three-point line. It's making open shots. It's not having nine live ball. You know, I don't know how many were live ball, but the ratio seems to be it was probably most, you know? And then 15 offensive rebounds. So I think it uh, always comes down to that. When we played them last year in the series, it was those.